So Celine's going to say some interesting facts about Dubai. Okay. Number one, it's currently home to the tallest building in the world, the Burj Khalifa. It was founded in 1833 as a fishing village. In 1963, although there are loads of cars here now and you wouldn't think it, and loads of supercars and whatnot, in 1963 there were only 13 registered cars in Dubai. Oh, and on that note, fuel is only marginally more expensive here than water. Um, for every woman in Dubai, there is 2.3 men. Right, so 85% of the population in Dubai is made up of foreign workers. The majority being from India, Bangladesh and Pakistan. Um, and there are... Something that we're going to try and find later. What's that? Gold dispensing ATMs. Gold dispensing ATM only in Dubai. I'm going to convince you to get a gold bar. We'll see. Celine is taking a time lapse. But look at the view, Sheikh Zayed Road. Look how many lanes there are. This is the Dubai that you imagine. And it's December, but it's a nice 29 degrees. Right, so we're in um, Equity, and we're gonna go to Burjaman. Going to Dubai, there's these like these, so you can get a massage. Do you like massages? I don't think she's going to give me a massage. Look at them all. Do you not know about this? No. How come you know about it? Where's I your card? I see them all the time. It's ridiculous. And here is the creek, and you can just about to see the silhouette of the Burj Khalifa there. Right. Where do we get a boat from? Where do we get one from? I think that's a public ferry. So, instead of getting a cruise, we're just going to go and get a public water taxi called an Abra or Arba. Let's see if we can do that and go across there. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Shukran. Durant. Yes, thank you. Here we go. Literally just going across the other side. Celine's doing the honours with the prawns. As usual. Wherever we are, this restaurant, whatever it's called, it is really, really nice. What is it called? I don't know. I think it's just tea dinner, you know, like loo or... Loo. We'll have a look on the way out. Great view as well. Check if we can see over here. arrived, guess, in British pounds. In British pounds. £34.60 £50.50 Oh, 
We had two things about it. Yeah, that is expensive. Vanilla. 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 Um, raspberry, please. Raspberry. Okay. How much is it? 30 dirham. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I forget. Oh. <laughs> How much? 30? Turkish shop. 30 dirham. 30 dirham. 30 dirham. 6 quid. Just get your ice cream. Sir? Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Another ice cream? Thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. We can only afford one. <laughs> nice. So we've come to the Heritage Souk. So this behind me is like an old form of air conditioning. Do you know this? It's like an old wind cooling tower. So the air would go in and it would flow down and cause like the internal rooms to be cooled. Did you know that? So this is the traditional souk. However, it's not very busy at the minute, but the buildings all around it are really impressive. <laughs> This whole place was only opened in 2017 at uh, Shukran, no thank you. So it's only five years old, this development. Whether this was refurbished from existing buildings, I don't know. But look at it now. I'm surprised. Look at those Rolex buildings over there. Taxi to Dubai Frame. The Dubai Frame. I've seen it on photographs, I've never been to it before. So that's where we're going to go. See you at the Dubai Frame. Here we are. Look at that. Shining. Sunset is in one hour. Even the sign looks posh. Look at that. Quality. It was 52 dirhams each, so that's about 10 pounds each. It was built, or started to be built in 2013 and finished in 2018. It's huge, I didn't realise it would be this big. I thought it was going to be big, but not this big. Gold. Maybe. So now we're going to brave the queue there was a massive queue on the other side to get up there. This is good. Really good. I'm really glad we came to live here. And we go to the elevator through the mist of time. <laughs> He is that thing that you can walk on. Ooh, look at that. Well, let's look at the view. This is why we're here. On the other side. really good but actually walking along here is quite unnerving yeah worth coming up despite the queue what do you think of it it's really cool do you like it the sun went down really quickly yeah look at that yeah. view that is an impressive view
look how busy Dubai Mall is. And it goes up and up. And virtually every person you see is either a tourist or a foreign national. Hardly any Emiratis. George Romani, Ralph Lauren, Louis Vuitton, Chanel, and Celine. Speaking of which, where is she? Now we're going to see the Dubai Fountains, famous site of Dubai. Look at the Burj Khalifa. Everything in Dubai is expensive. But that's the price you pay to come to Bling City. Don't mind paying like a little bit of the odds, but it's just ridiculous. For like a little bit of chicken, 20 quid. For a glass of juice, eight quid. So forget it. I'm not paying that. Not even in Dubai. So this is the Dubai Fountain. That's the Dubai Fountain done, Dubai Mall. That's it, good night. Day one, Dubai.